It's good morning. Good morning. I got uh, Mr. Jared here with us today. The OG Jigger. Oh, the OG Jigger. Let me tell you something. This guy right here has been jigging since the, the start of jigging in the United States of America. <laughs> Not Japan, but United States of America. The first Pulley Ridge like trip. Very first right. Pulley Ridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got for Doyle here. Yep, just waking up from my little bunk right here in the center console. John and I went out last night, so I decided to spend the night here on the Dusky. So, got a good night's ready sleep, to ready to roll. rock and roll. <laughs> and what you'll notice is that Chris Doyle has a tank here on the dock, and he's about to strap that up because we're, yeah. we're going to do three things today. We're going out to explore some new uh, deep territory. Um, way offshore and then we're gonna bump in see if we can't get into some tunas and then the last thing is chris is gonna jump in the water yeah with his tanks yes yeah, so we get some underwater footage of the jigs long overdue you know we say this all the time we never actually do it because we just have too darn much fun fishing <laughs> And then the very last thing, my buddy Jared, even though he's the OG Jigger, there's one thing that if you check out his uh, social media, which is, and he's gonna tell you, Jared uh, underscore S underscore Hill. I know how to work the food. My dude can cook. My dude can cook good. And what are we talking about, Jared? Tuna? We're hoping for tuna burgers. Tuna burgers. Asian style. Woo! Asian tuna burgers. Asian tuna if burgers. If you're doing tuna, you gotta go Asian. I don't Asian. know why. Yeah. yeah so, sesame oil. so we've done that once before with Jared, and they were out of this world. And we're like, you know what? This is something good to put up there in a video for others to, to see if they've never seen a tuna burger. Yeah. So something you guys don't see much on our channel, Catch Clean Cooks, some jig footage underwater, some exploratory deep dropping plus going in for the tunas this is going to be an action-packed video stick around So we just got out to about 357 feet and uh, we realized that our speed over ground is, is uh, about two knots but we've got opposing uh, wind, wind going uh, coming out of, the, out of the north and then with the current going the other way it's going to be impossible to go down deep so yeah. Yeah, but we had the wind at our back and the wind was kind of blowing the boat. Think about it blowing the boat with the jig, you know, on the jig's drift. That actually helps us when they're opposing and we're in 350 and we're seeing two knots. Now, we could always run out a little deeper and check, but, uh, and, and we'll probably get a little deeper and just check it out again, go to 500 feet. Um, so yeah. if you guys are wondering what that sound is, I'll show you right here. Jared's gonna put out a troller, something that we don't traditionally not do. not a common sound you hear on this boat. No. Not at all, right? That's right. <laughs> so we're we're actually gonna troll around just for a little bit and see if uh see if we can't find some uh tunas that come up top in the morning and uh, make our way to uh some other fishing spots on the way and probably drop a jig. So. Yeah, you gotta you gotta think we're in South Florida and it's the end of March and historically here, um, especially when we've been jigging the last four or five years. March or April. At some point, we're just out here, and we just get so tight. We just get slammed. We got a sport fish that's tight next to us on the troll. We get slammed with big hit hookups right around this time of year, and then we pull up the big, the first big fat, 18, 20, 25, sometimes 30 pound tunas of the year, and that kicks off kind of the, the tuna run, you know, for the for the season. So it's that time of year. John and I came out last night. We got one little five pounder in about 360 feet mid water. Um, there's been reports of catch. Some of you guys have been sending us pictures of, of catching tuna. So we know that they're trickling in. And our game plan now is after checking our, our current and our drift angle and what's going on, we're actually gonna drag these trollers around at about six knots and pay attention to our sonar and look look for mid-water marks, which are gonna indicate 
pelagix, likely tuna. Tunas. And uh, so we can start getting information and data so we can be more effective on the jig when we drop them. Let's go fish. We're fishing. This is trolling, baby. <laughs> Johnny's tight. Oh, that's first run. Are you guys both on? Can you move that rod up? Just off the bottom. Ooh, that's a big fish, bro. Yeah, hooked up, baby. So we were just, we trolled around until we saw some marks on the screen. We're looking for the tunas. Is and, it head uh, shaking? Yeah, no head shake. Yeah, head shake. Jarrett got a nice tuna on the jig once we stopped. And uh, I just hooked up on something very big. So I got a big fish on and uh, I find it a little easier to put in the hip, but I'm still put, pointing my tip down because I don't want to obviously break my rod. But I'm taking my time with him. And he was under the boat for a second there, so I had to make my way around the bow to get here. But So you can either get up here in the Captain Morgan position or you can put in your hip, you know. I, I switch back and forth as one position gets uncomfortable and then I switch over to the other position. But, uh, I was at a stalemate with this guy for a second. And then uh, now he's now he's gaming on me. I'm gonna I'm gonna play him out. Now I'm getting some line, baby. Let me see 
long. So if you guys been wondering where we've been with our videos, we have been super busy at the shop, non-stop. Uh, let's get around here. Super busy packing orders, big order, because we have just seen you guys up in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, North Carolina, South Carolina, just, you know, really spreading some love on our jigs, on Johnny Jigs. So we um, have decided to put our jigs in tackle shops up by you guys. And if you see our jigs in your local tackle shop, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it and let me know what your experience with that is. But this guy does not want to give up. He's hey, John's on a monster fish and he cares more about talking to you guys. <laughs> oh, this is the fish. I'm getting close, guys. Here, take it. We're getting that's close. That's the one that's about to die, son. It's okay. Getting close. He's giving me, you see those big, big head shakes right there. It's kind of nerve wracking. Gaining on him. He's got to be getting close by now. I see color, deep color. Deep color down there, guys. Deep color. Chris, if you wouldn't mind grabbing the gaff. It's Jack keeping him. Deep color. All right, get that guy. go baby let's see what it is it's a jack son let's see what it is nice aj all right guess what he's going in my smoker look at that look at that fish god i got the jig Drop him on the deck. Yeah! Look at that AJ baby. Check this beast out guys. This guy hit our uh, blue and pink tuna teaser. So we were really looking for the tunas and uh, got into this nice amber jack. And uh, he, he was actually off the bottom just a little bit. And then I knew I had a big fish on, but my arms are getting tired holding this guy up. But cheers to the ocean. I'm going to throw this guy in my smoker. We're going to head back to the house and Jarrett is going to cook us up some tuna burgers. So stick around. All right, guys, we're back at the dock. So uh, two tunas today. I'm sorry, three tunas today and a uh, amberjack. So I'm just going to cut this guy up here and then we are headed back to my place because uh, our buddy Jarrett is going to make us something I've never had before, which is uh, tuna burgers. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited to see what, how Jared cooks this because it's, I've been told that it is delicious. So I'm basically just going down the spine of this guy here. You gotta get through those pin bones. Once you get through the pin bones, you can get through the other side of this fish. Do a little cut at the tail there. Come back up here just to make sure we get through the rib cage and then that's it guys that's it move the so, shadow move your shadow your head up oh look at that shadow there you go and that's it you'll see a bloodline down the middle there i'll cut that out and get ready to go but for now let's get back to my house and let's go see what jared's got cooking <laughs> all right we're back at my place christopher doyle just Chow down some sushi. A nasal passage full of wasabi. That Jared made for us. And uh, now he's about to show us how to make tuna burgers. So Jared, it's on you, bro. Yeah, tuna burgers is one of my favorite ways to eat blackfin tuna. The good thing about it is when you're making sushi or something, you have a lot of scraps left over. So the burgers are a good way of using all the meat possible, which we like to do. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients that you need. One, heirloom tomato. Two, onion. Three, garlic. Four, ginger. Five, fresh cilantro. Six, some butter lettuce or any lettuce will do. Some hamburger buns of choice. I picked brioche today. 
sesame oil. Then we're also adding panko breadcrumbs and two eggs to bind everything together. And sriracha. And last, you need some mayonnaise. So what you want to do with the tuna is slice it up into little strips and then chop it. So I've diced up tuna, put it in the bowl along with cilantro, garlic, and ginger. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of sesame oil. It has a lot of flavor so you don't need that much. I'm also going to add two eggs. You generally want one egg per two burgers, um, but I've added a lot of tuna, so I'm gonna add a little extra. A squirt of sriracha, just to give it a little spice. And then the key to holding it all together is panko breadcrumbs. Generally, I'd say about a quarter cup of panko for two burgers. One quarter. This is exact measurements by yeah, Jared himself. <laughs> if you look, let me see your hand. That's, that, <laughs> this is a quarter cup. That's a quarter cup, guys. So, yeah, you should see how he measures fish. <laughs> you want to get your pan the medium high heat, add a little bit of olive oil so they don't stick. Black pepper and everything. About a teaspoon of it. And a little salt. Garlic salt. You can mix it up with your hands, but since I'm making it for other people, we'll use a fork. Now you can cook these medium rare or you can cook them through. There's really no wrong way to go about it. You could probably even eat it raw. Hear that sizzle? That's what we like to hear. If it ain't sizzling, anybody? Anybody? It ain't fizzling. <laughs> it ain't fizzling. Christopher Doyle at his finest. Yes, I'm here for the wisdom. And the food. <laughs> Mostly the food. <laughs> now, as these are cooking, I'm going to make the secret sauce, which is really just some mayo and sriracha. Now you see the bottoms are starting to change to a more white. That lets you know they're ready to flip. Beautiful. Dude, my mouth is watering. I'm starving. Nelly is Nelly's hungry too. Say hi, Nelly. <laughs> Nelly ate a squid the other day. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, out on the boat. I gotta, hopefully I can show you guys that now. <laughs> and as these are finishing, I'm gonna set up my burger station. A little bit of that calm, secret sauce. Calm, settle. Calm. <laughs> right on the bun. Finish it off with oh, the sliced onion, one of these heirloom tomatoes, a piece of lettuce, 
And there you have the completed tuna burger. See you guys later. I'm about to eat this burger. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and don't forget about TikTok. Jig on. Thank you.